Well, dozens of people attended watch parties across San Francisco. Let's go now to KTVU's Jana Katsuyama, who attended two watch parties tonight with reaction from voters. Jana. Julie, and as you saw in that previous poll, you know, when we went to these parties, one party was left-leaning, another more conservative, so I didn't really want to ask who they thought won, but rather why they decided to watch and if tonight's debate really changed their impression of the two men. At Manny's in San Francisco's Mission District, a largely progressive crowd turned out for the debate watch party. Very excited to uh, hear what uh, my governor now uh, has to say. California Governor Gavin Newsom going face to face with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis turned into must see TV for the audience. Some said they came to hear the governor's debate specific issues. I see it as a women's rights for me. This gentleman DeSantis is. Trump, <laughs> just another one of his followers. Others said they came just to see the spectacle. You know, you're kind of coming here to like watch like a clown car, like a, like a car wreck, and that's kind of what we've gotten. And with the governors often talking over each other, some people said that was exactly the verbal combat they'd expected. It's interesting because it's like they're obviously not running for the same position, but it's just almost entertaining. It's more for entertainment than anything else. Um, these are two very important governors of very important states, and it's good to hear. Uh, it's good to hear what our governor has to say. Although the matchup was billed as a red state blue state battle, some people said they don't like to see the country framed that way. Some people may be concentrated in California, more progressive people, but there are conservative people here too. You know, and that, that's true everywhere. So it's hard to paint a whole state in one color because it's there's a lot of diversity. Proving that point across town, the San Francisco Republican Party held its own watch party. I think it's it's interesting. It's actually surpassed my expectations. This is the lineup for 2028. They're getting a head start on it. I think these kinds of conversations are important because unlike the normal debates that we see during presidential elections, it's a lot of people with the same party arguing with each other. So I think it's refreshing and entertaining. For Republicans, the debate also was a chance to reconsider Ron DeSantis, who is trying to regain traction in the GOP's presidential primary. He's kind of a cold fish in many ways, but he created more warmth and more humor than in the past. So this doesn't change my opinion. DeSantis is trying to do, he's trying to copy Trump, but you'll never win by copying someone else. So again, very interesting to hear the range of reactions to this debate from people who did decide to watch. And again, a lot of people saying they don't really like the divisions of blue state, red state. They just really want to get down to the issues and hear what people have to say. Julie. Right. Jana Katsuyama reporting for us tonight. Thanks, Jana.